I joke, we're back, and guess what? We have a new model. And if you think Faye's bad, wait till you meet Georgie. Just, <laughs> 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 you know, like everything. Just, uh, let me just show you the basket. The basket. Right, so we've got a basket of many things. <laughs> Can we have all that in one nail? I took some out. I and think. this is what she's having. And I'm going to struggle get all that in. I don't think there's enough, but yeah. There's, in there's enough. Just saying. Sometimes we need to keep it simple, stupid. Simple, Are stupid. Are you trying to say less is more? Less is never. Less more. is more. Sometimes I feel <laughs> like, I said to you before, um, I did George's nails um, and we put them on Instagram and everybody was like, Are they face nails? Are they face nails? Nope. They're George's nails. <laughs> so, um, obviously, Faye doesn't want to have long nails anymore, so we've got to replace her. We ditched her. <laughs> and you <laughs> bit in the bin. <laughs> we've not ditched her. Don't worry, Faye will always be on this channel. But Ugh. people are... Cr <laughs> <laughs> people are crying out for long nails. So, just by chance, we have Georgia, who loves long-ass nails. Wears them all the time. Um, yeah, so... We're going to do some long ass nails in the shape of an edge. Ooh. That's to be done. Bit of fabulousness. Bit of fabulousness, yes. Yeah. So, we're going to sculpt these. So, with your sculpting form, there is some origami that needs to go on with this. So, what we need to do is we need to do a lot of folding. So, in between the one and the six on the end of that form, is a little tiny white line you're going to create a little dink there and then this part's a little bit easier because we already have a perforation can i just ask is that the technical term a dink a dink a dink, dink. And, you and we go dink and we go dink and then we join the dinks up dinks <laughs> and then you can take you can either score it with your nails on the side of the desk if you want to take a metal tool and or that now there's a few different ways you can do the sides if you're quite confident you can put this on and then you can bend the sides once it's on but i'm going to show you how you can do that before so we're going to do the same again this bottom line here we're going to make that nice and square and straight i'm going to go dink 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 Ding 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 Center tab, pull it out. Center tab, we're going to put where the perforation line is here because this form goes long or short. So you can use it for short nails or you know, salon nails, or you can use it for extreme nails. We're doing extreme nails today, so I'm just going to put that there because there is a very fine perforation line running here. So you can tear that off if you're doing shorter nails, but today. Clearly not. We're <laughs> not doing short nails. Never. I'm just going to fold that that way yeah. and fold this one this way so we can have them a little bit flatter. Can I have your finger? So we're going to open the tear at the back and then you'll notice as we go like this and we anchor it up this part here pushes everything away this very very center part so we're going to cut a very very shallow tiny little triangle like that and then we're going to offer it up It'll make it sit a little bit wider then we want a slight curve down there what's you what what do you get asked most about wearing long nails how I can do anything and how I go to the toilet. 
the, the most asked. Question. The ultimate question. It's such a lovely question, isn't it? Like, what, yeah, how do you wipe your bum? What What's your response? Depends if I'm being nice. Normally it's just like, or oh, same as you, or if I'm being really arsy, it's something inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, same same as you, Doc. She might use a bit of a tissue. Yeah. Put it on your hand, off you go. And why? <laughs> it's not hard. And to do. The ass, it is clean. I think people yeah, have to demonstration. I, I just carry hose around with me all of the time. Yeah. Is it a bidet? That the, a bidet. The, a bidet? I'm going to have one of them. In, in like, um, sort of Southeast Asia, they have like, uh, like little shower things. I'm going to start walking around for yeah, Just have like a little shower. Right, okay, so we've attached. We make sure we're nice and straight. And it looks really crazy at the minute, doesn't <laughs> it? And then. I'm going to just lightly touch that just to make it close a little bit. It's like we've got an airplane veil going on. And then we're going to close these tabs. And sorry, Adam. It's okay. Obviously, right? We know it's that time left. <laughs> Close tabs there. I like my edge nails quite tapered at the end. So, if we have a look at this nail, see how it tapers nice and thin, it doesn't sit wide. If you don't want it to sit as narrow as this, you can really anchor this out like that. But we want ours to be quite narrow. We've still got the edge shape and we have a spine running through. Now we're going to prime the nail. Farty hands. <laughs> Farty gloves. Primer. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use our primer. And look at the brush, the brush is beautiful, a nice little curve on the tip, like a curved tip. I'm going to start with glass slipper, which is all clear. And when you're coming down to the bottom of the pot, our pot will sit at an angle like that. Perfect. Because of the shape of the facets of the diamond that's on Sorry, let me move things out the way. There we are. So it sits like that, so you can get into it. I'm using the Alicia Sculpt, which is a nice big brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to chase, chase, chase this down. And I want it to go quite thin. So we're making contact with the natural nail. And we're going to press, pat, and pull the product down, 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 down. Little pulls. He's stretching the product down to your required length. You only need a very thin, small bead at the back.
So as you come up the side, so we've come straight down the side and then we've got a nice angle here. So you can follow the angles that are on the form, but I want to go slightly more angled so you can see that this one starts here or ends here. So it's slightly more angled than the lines on the form. So we've done that both sides. Everything's very narrow, narrow, narrow. You see how we have a bit of a dip here, but that's fine because that will be our stress area, which will be jam packed with product, making it super strong. World's tightest squeezy pinch. <laughs> All right, just just put that the one was in. quite soft compared to the others. Oh really? The others, I had to like. I did a bit of an oh, eye twitch. Did, like, did the bladder control nearly go? <laughs> so good job I did for a week. <laughs> oh, that was a squeezy pinch. <laughs> so what, what are you doing now? I'm going to tell you if you like. <laughs> so I'm just going to file this a little bit because I like to perfect things, perfect that base layer. When you're doing such an unusual shape, Unusual. This will just make the application of my next colour. So I'm going to use a core powder over the top of this for the colour. I just want to make sure everything's quite nice and smooth. It just makes the next application a little bit easier and smoother. I'm just going to rehydrate that with the brush. It makes for a better connection. So we're going to use Bare Booty. Now, because we've already pinched this nail, it doesn't matter if we start from the cuticle or if we start at the tip. Because you're following what's already laid down. Yes. So, Georgie, you watch these videos quite a lot. I do. Yeah. All the time. So is this like really weird? It feels like you're watching one of the videos, but you're actually in one of them. Yeah, it's like you, I can see you, you like. <laughs> but I can just see you watching the, the monitor there, and it must feel like you're just watching one of Kirsty's videos. I like to be able to see what's going on. I'm a bit nosy. <laughs> you get all the behind the scenes. Sat with cookies. Yeah, we are. We've actually had people forget that they're getting their nails done, and they feel like they're just watching a video, a video of their nails it being done. It does kind of feel like that, apart from when I'm being squirrels. <laughs> Manhandled. Yeah. Yeah, um George has come bearing gifts today. <laughs> Never come empty handed. We've got gorgeous mini egg cookies. And the chocolate. And biscuits. And we've got chocolate and we've got biscuits. We've got it all going on. We aren't gonna, we're not gonna um, starve today. No, definitely not. Definitely no starving. So, because this is an edge nail, I'm gonna flip from working at one side to the other side. And the reason that I'm flipping from one side to the other is because we've got product that's sat on one side, product that's sat on the other side. If you don't work it, it will set. So we just worked on this side, we were like, yeah, we'll get this bit nice. And then we forget about this side, then it's game over. It will all be starting to, all this side would start to set. So you're still gonna work your beads. Now you can always just do one side. So you could get one side nice and neat, and then you could work on your other side if you wanted to. But I just like doing both sides at the same time. I can kind of see the nail growing. It's like developing. It's running out of form space at the end. So we've got a bead here. This is going to help with the shape, that angled shape. But you'll notice that when I'm working on the sides, I'm working really flat. This is the reason I've chose the Alicia Sculpt brush because it fans really flat. So you can see how flat this brush was and it covers a lot of area. So it's perfect for these kind of nails. I'm working quite flat on each side so I can create the spine as well.
It's always an odd look these nails until sort of you get down to the the um, what's it called? Filing. Filing of it. It's a bit intimidating, isn't it? At first, you think, "What's going on?" Yeah, definitely. Do you think they're long enough? <laughs> I think they're long enough. Okay, just just. Checking. I did say to you, I think you should go shorter. I said I'd compromise. And, and we've did. compromised by one, one number on the form. That's it. It's better than no compromise. It was like, you know, these will be a 14 by the time I've filed it. It's just creeping up to a 15 at the minute, which is what you had before. See, so shorter. So by one, by one number on the form, that yeah. is it. Oh, originally I was going half a number, so <laughs> progress. <laughs> Although I'm not going to 13 next time. That can't happen. Really? Yeah, really. You're just going to... I'll be counting. I'll be, like, getting a ruler out and, like, just making sure. Yeah, but if you have these filled, then you're still going to be longer. Yeah, but on the new set... On the new set, you They won't... can't be a 13. No. No, definitely not. I'll be complaining. Okay. I'll puff, Are like, you going to complain? Who are you going to complain to? You... Not that you'd listen, you just tell me do one. You can complain Get to the out. manager. <laughs> Put it in writing for yeah. you and all. When did you start having like mega long nails? I've, I've had them on for years, but they sort of started out shorter and then they've just got longer and longer and, and now they're a bit ridiculous, but I'll never <laughs> go it. back. What do you like about wearing long nails? They don't give me sausage fingers. Yes. So I have very sausagey fingers. Yeah. I like the amount of creativity that can go into them. Yes. Love a tippy tap on a phone or yes. a workshop. Yes. I just love everything. And they make an outfit, I tell you. Oh, they do make an outfit, don't they? They do. It's like you can wear the most simplest things, but if you've got banging nails, you're ready, aren't you? They finish off an outfit. I couldn't do just like a basic French. No way. That just... It's not be a crime. That's not your style. Yeah. Right, so I'm just making sure I've got this nice spine. Just a tiny bit more here on this apex because we do need to have quite the apex going on. I love a good apex. And there's a little bit of a dip on here, on this side, so I'm going to sort out. I can't remember what's happening with this nail. It's, it's a bling nail. You've got three big massive bling nails. Since when? I told you we changed it. We've, we've made that bling nail. This, these two are oh, right. glitter with the blah 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 yeah. yeah. This is glitter. This is glitter. Right, I'll let you. And if you want to see the glitter nails, go to part two. Keep watching. But we just want to get this structure down so we can teach you this part. Because if we just, if I just show you how to do the the encapsulation of all the bits and bobs that we're going to do, if we do that straight away, it's a lot to take in. So I want to teach you the basic shape first. I want you to have a go at that and then you can move on to the encapsulation part of it. All right, let's take the form off. Will this one have a gap at the bottom? Yes, yeah, like me thumbs go. You know, where I can get me... Well, you still need to be able to get in it. Yeah, you can get in it. I'm just making sure. So you can... I can't get Look. pinky. Okay, I'm happy. Thank you. So we are going to do 100 grit on one side and then we are going to do uh, 150 on the other side. It's a little bit softer so we can come round the cuticle. All right, we're going to get a little bit of file. So I've just snapped this one in off. So we've got two sides just to take it off. The sharp edges off our replaceable papers on our file.
So I'm going to do the side walls first and get them level. This one is slightly lower than the other side. I want my hundred grit really for this side. Right. I'm just going to use that one fifty grit side of my file to form it around the cuticle. So it's still like a similar filing routine that I would normally do, but when it comes to now filing these this spine down the middle, this loop we've got, it's not it's not straight at the top. What we have to do is we have to keep the bar very flat, hold it on the side. So you need a co you need cooperation from your client or nail model. I think I'm doing a good you job. are being very good, you are cooperating okay. fully with me. Keep if you weren't you wouldn't know about it. <laughs> I feel like I could get a sweat on just watching. Really? <laughs> it's intense. What do I think you would really do underneath? We'll do that after then. So you can see we're getting a nice flat angle on this now. The file is very, very flat. And then we're going to come up to the spine. And I want to show you what happens. We're going to file flat, 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 flat. And can you see how the dust starts to settle? And that will show you how sharp you're getting with your spine. Not a bit sharp. Yes. Did you say they feel very sturdy already? Yeah. They are such a... Just like it. Yeah. Normal shape. Because they've got the spine there. They do have so much strength. With being really heavy handed as well, I think yeah. it'd be quite, quite an ideal shape. So, again on this side, very flat, and I'm supporting the nail, I'm not just holding the finger here. If I do that, look at the nail. Really um, want it. And I'm not just holding it here, I'm actually holding the full nail. No snappages, please. Yeah. And look how much of the file I'm using. All of the file. Very necessary. I think it's safe to say that file will be buggered by the time you're done with it. <laughs> <laughs> There'll yeah. be no saving it. Right, then we're going to buff around that cuticle and then it's the same we're going to go flat don't buff over the top you're going to get rid of the sharpness sorry nice and flat and then again hold it on the side
and I like to get the metal file at the side just to make it uber sharp from the natural nail to the extension. And what I'm going to do with this nail is I'm going to put Laura on the top because we're going to bling it out. Do you want me to bling it out on camera? Or? Yeah. Yeah? Right, so we've picked the number of crystals because on the other nails, so don't forget to check those videos out, we're going to have these kind of colours in. So we picked, well, you've picked them. I've got some more. It's a joint effort. Yeah. We've got some pinky ones here as well. Pinky? We've got some AB. My head's in the way now, sorry. Just being nosy. What can you see? Oh, I like them. Oh, open them. Yeah, and then I like these as well. These are cosy like a bit like this. Pastely, nice. I like the pastel. So I'm just gonna put them all out. So we're gonna use Laura first of all, which is a gorgeous top coat. <coughs> this is a long nail, so we're gonna start at the lateral length. Oh, you are the big words. <laughs> She's like a nail dictionary. Are you a dictionary for everything? No, just nails. That is a stunning colour. It's so nice. So this is a top coat. Laura is a jelly top coat, which she's like a semi-sheer nude colour. She is so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> but then I'm gonna pop that into the lamp. So because the nail is so look, that's the difference between just the raw acrylic. So you could just leave it that colour, but I just I'm it's a fan. A bit of summer else. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Laura. She's a beautiful colour. So we're gonna do this on all of our plain nails, which won't be plain for long. It's a very good job. I think I'd cry real tears. I love I love a nude nail that's a banging shape though. Some it just you know, because you can yeah, really yeah. see the shape. It it showcases the shape. I can appreciate its beauty, I won't lie. However, yeah. Pop that. Same on the thumb. In the lab, I'm going to do a chevron bling. So we're going to bling out in a chevron. So like all that will be bling. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buff this area so everything sticks really well. I suppose you've got to watch the spine, haven't you, as well while yeah. you're buffing the. Yeah, you don't want yeah. to get rid of that spine. Oh, we're doing a, a cuticle chevron. Well, cuticle chevron, but oh, this one I'm going to do like in the middle. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. I agree. Good job, because that's what we get. <laughs> it's a good job I'm flexible. It is a good job you're flexible. But you have to be if you want nails this will be long. Be a gymnast. Can't walk on two feet very well, but very nail gymnastics. <laughs> Crystal to talus. And we're gonna smooth that over. be a lot of turning your hand the other way around to stop things falling as well. I'm prepared. You're prepared. Always. And blue look amazing. They're lovely aren't they? Mm. Not too much either. But 
Have you just said that? Be not too much. <laughs> you know, they add a bit of character. Okay. <clears throat> You're random. It's just getting in on the action. Don't want this out. No. Oh, she's pretty. She's so pretty. So you can see, even though it's an edge shape, you can build up a lovely cluster on there, keeping everything within the shape. So you'll see I've got these to either side of the spine. We could build on top of the spine there. So pretty. And it really complements the shape. Definitely made a classy now look a lot more. Me. More Georgia. <laughs> So you'll see that this angle here as well is the same as this angle. Mm. And that's what makes it look aesthetically pleasing as well. And Laura works so well behind that. I know. She looks stunning, doesn't she? She does, bless her. That is sick. I love that. And then bam. Let's let's move the shitty fingers. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. That looks fine. On that shaped nail, wow. I'm going live on edge now, thank you. Is your love edge, edge, all edge all the time. Even with me pinky. If you want to see these two nails <laughs> with these gorgeous <laughs> glitters, then you've got to go on to the next video because this is going to be amazing. I'm so excited. <laughs> I cannot wait to take the photos. Edge for life. <laughs> I'm a converted edge girl now. Oh, yeah. The bling just looks. Because you, you were unsure of that, weren't you? Yeah, especially well, when I got my pinky on. Now. Yeah, look love at them now. Right, guys, um, everything I've used today will be listed below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And if you don't give us a comment or share, then I might just disown you. I'll poke <laughs> you in the eye. <laughs> yeah, George is going to poke you in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, thanks for watching. And, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. ta -ra,